So you've heard the buzz around Blender Beam and you're ready to dive in. Whether you're a seasoned pro or just getting started, Blender Beam is revolutionizing building information modeling with open source power. And today I've got the ultimate list of YouTube channels you need to subscribe if you want to master Blender Beam. Let's jump right in. First up, let's talk about OS Arc. While it might not be the most active channel, OS Arc hosts some incredibly interesting discussions and demonstrations. This channel is all about promoting open source tools in AAC. It's a fantastic place to see how others are using Blender Beam and to join in on thought-provoking conversations about the future of open source architecture. Although in the name we have only open source architecture, the place is welcoming also for engineers and other AAC professionals. Next, you need to check out Dion Molt. Dion is one of the core developers of Blender Beam and of course also the creator of this add-on on top of the IFC OpenShell library. And on his channel is packed with insights straight from the source. While he might not post consistently, when he does, it's pure gold. Dian's videos cover new features in Blender Beam, key concepts, and sometimes important talks and presentations from various open source conventions. If you want to stay on top of Blender Beam updates, the ONS channel is a must. Now, if you're after something a bit different but equally valuable, check out Sigma Dimensions or how it's called now, Consult Beam. I think Yasin have changed the name of his channel and his brand. Yasin Owalid, the creator behind this channel, is not only a content creator but also a contributor to Blender Beam. He has made significant contributions, especially related to time and costing functionalities in Blender Beam. His channel is filled with tutorials on how to model in Blender Beam, as well as workshops on 4D modeling and also using IFC OpenShell. For practical hands-on guidance, Sigma Dimensions is your go-to. Moving on, let's dive into IFC Architect. Behind the IFC Architect channel stands Lloyd Basio, a friend of mine, an architect from South Africa, who is really passionate about OpenBeam. This channel is the best if you want to learn how to model in Blender Beam. There is no match for it. It has the best tutorials and the best explanation. And he's also covering other tools that he's using in his workflow. So actually, if you are an architect, you will see a fully free workflow composed of free tools that he's using every day in production. I think there are two years since he's doing that and he's showing in public what he does. Like I said, there is no better place for you to start. It has the most comprehensive and most complete tutorials out there when it comes to modeling in Blender Beam and also drawing production. You like it and or agree or not on this, I have no choice to also mention Beam Voice here because even though I did not focus fully on Blender Beam, it's happening more and more. And I have many videos, especially when it comes to beam coordination and how to use Blender Beam for this purpose, how to validate IFC models, how to automate validation with ideas and so on. And I also have many chats with Dion, Thomas Kreinan, the creator of IFC OpenShell, uh, and many other people using Blender Beam. So actually, I think from this point of view, there is no match. Like you will definitely find most of these discussions and practical uses on my channel because yeah, I pick the brains of these people using this tool. And I also started to create more and more videos open shell, it's a very about Blender Beam and especially from a Beam coordinator perspective. So again, I'm mostly interested in how to validate my IFC models, how to navigate in them, how to automate things and how to modify if I needed how to update my models. So if that's something you're interested in, if you are dealing with validation of IFC files, then this is definitely the right place to be. I would say that everyone actually working with IFC, even if you are creating, you still need to validate to some degree. Yes, you don't need to do the same things that a beam coordinator is doing, but you still need to have a clue. And I'm teaching you how you can do that, how you can use especially ideas to a very, very simple level and to get a lot of value from your models and understand what's going wrong and to fix them quickly. And in this way, be able to deliver much better quality models. Finally, check out your Nudes Beam Studio. This is a newer channel that's growing rapidly. Yonuts is documenting his journey while he's exploring IFC OpenShell with Python code 
and parametric design with Zverchuk. It's a fantastic channel if you are interested in more technical aspects of Blender Beam and you want to see a hands-on approach to solving real-world problems. Although it's a small channel, but it's growing rapidly and he is very consistent with creating new videos and he's also taking into account your opinion, like I am also doing. If you have any recommendations, of course, always you are more than welcome to either leave me a comment, send me an email, send me a message on LinkedIn, whatever. Just do it because I'll consider your message and I'll think about how I can help you out. There is also something very important I would like to mention right now. Once in a while I run events or workshops or masterclasses with these amazing people like I did with Lloyd and with Dion so far. And these workshops are specially created to help you to start using Blender Beam and cover things that you cannot do using other tools or if you want to stick to Blender Beam instead of paying for an expensive solution. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned on my channel because I'm cooking something as we speak. And like I said, this is not happening very often. This is, and these are workshops that are quite affordable, I would say, and at the same time are also contributing to the further development of this amazing tool, which is Blender Beam Adam, because we are donating a big chunk of our sales all the time to Blender Beam. You might be surprised and believe me, I'm not trying to brag about this, but Beam Voice the last year and this year has donated almost, almost $5,000 to this amazing project. Can you imagine that? Yes, that's possible because your contribution, because you are joining us, you are supporting us and you are accelerating your journey. So thank you very much for your support and see you around.